morning from Slovenia. This is a new country for me. We arrived really late last night and we stayed in the capital, Ljubljana, at a hostel called Party Hostel, which is a bit of an oxymoron. It was a happening place with blaring music. The only reason we chose it was because it was a five minute walk away from the station and it allowed check-in until 4 a.m. Otherwise, that wasn't our cup of tea. We nope. wouldn't have picked it. Nope. It was way too loud. They played music till like 2 or 4 a.m. The bathrooms were smelly and not that clean, but the beds were super comfortable. And it was cheap, so we'll take it. So for just one night to rest our heads, it was okay, but not one that we recommend. Not at all. But by getting into the city, then it did mean that we were able to get a bus out to Bled, which is where we now are. The bus links between Ljubljana and Bled are amazing. There seems to be a bus going every sort of half an hour to an hour. It's super cheap. I think it was four euros for the pair of us for a single trip. And it only takes about an hour and ten. So if you are looking for sort of a cheap way to get into Bled, then this is the way forward, really. We are about to check into our Airbnb, and then we're going to head out and explore. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, I present to you Lake Bled. expecting to have a lot better weather considering the time of year that we're going to each of the countries we got planned out but it's rained for probably about half the time we've been abroad so far so these ponchos in particular have been fantastic really really good investment we've even had people ask us where we got them p.s that's on amazon link in the description box below but on the way to the castle there is this church apparently it was built in the early 1900s and honestly the artwork inside is absolutely beautiful 
What's interesting though when I had a look through the Wikipedia article is that apparently there's a depiction of the Last Supper, but Judas is actually a pseudo portrait of Vladimir Lenin. So clearly the artist had some sentiments towards the Soviet Union. And the great thing about stopping there is it's free! It is 15 euros to get into the castle and we've decided against going in after doing a little bit of research on Google. But I still think it's worth the 20 minute hike to get up here. In fact, it didn't take us 20 minutes because you get a really good view and the view is free. So here we are, sat in a bus stop, because it's the only covered place we could find in the rain, to enjoy a nice little picnic, because we're classy like that. This is budget travel for you. Right, let's crack on. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we think this place is absolutely stunning and every single second of this has been absolutely glorious, despite the fact. In terms of the route that we took, we decided to go anti-clockwise, so starting off and going to the right, and that has actually worked out incredibly well for us because we started off by having some nice views and then they just got better and better better as you went around so if there were a particular direction to choose for this lake if you're going to go around it then definitely that one would be the one also whoever on google said that this is a six kilometer walk is a liar we've taken it at a leisurely pace and i'd say we spent four hours here now for us we enjoy walking so it's actually been lovely so just something to bear in mind we are going to head back to our Airbnb now just to take some time to ourselves because we are quite exhausted after that. So we're going to take some time to edit, chill and just relax for the rest of the day now.
we are now settled back in at the Airbnb. If you're coming to Lake Bled, you guys should definitely stay here. The host, Bojan, is absolutely lovely. The place here is super clean. It's like most other places we've stayed in, a little bit outdated, but you can tell this place is definitely taken care of. They also have some sweet little touches outside in the hall where they have some cookies that you can help yourself to and some tea and coffee as well. Nick's made us each a cup. And the location is also amazing. It is a five to 10 minute walk from the bus station, depending on which one you go to, and a 10 minute walk at most actually, maybe less to the lake. So we'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to stay here too. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.